What's good, Power Director Peeps? Today, I'm going to show all of my glorious PD Peeps how to use keyframe anchor points in Power Director so you can control movement in your videos like a puppet master. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. The anchor point is the place where all the other fixed effects will work from. In other words, if you add an anchor point and rotate your clip, it will rotate around the anchor point. Anchor points can be used for rotation, position, or scale. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to improve your video using anchor points. Anchors away, my boy. As you can see, I have an image in the timeline. And if I click on play, you'll see that it is a woman giving a presentation, breaking through the glass ceiling. You go, girl. Now, you can see that this just pans from left to right. And that's all it does. But I want the video to stop panning and zoom in on the presentation and stay there, just like you saw in the demo. So let's get cracking. I'm going to go ahead and click on the home key to bring my playhead back to the beginning of this clip. And now I'm going to double left click on this to bring up the PIP designer. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on the properties tab. So then I'm going to scroll all the way down here on the left until I get to this section called anchor point. And I want to use anchor points. So I'm going to go ahead and click on display anchor point. And then you see a green thumbtack appears and that is your anchor point. So down here on the timeline, I'm going to scroll down until I can see the anchor point. And I want to add an anchor point right here to the beginning. So I'm going to click on the add, remove current keyframe button. And it'll add an anchor point right at the beginning of the clip. Next, I want to move my playhead forward five seconds. And I'm going to add another anchor point here. This means that the clip is going to stay at the same position between these two anchor points. Now I'm going to move the playhead to a position where I want the anchor point to change and I want it to zoom in and stop at a certain position on the clip. And I'm going to go to about 10 seconds to do that. And at this point, what I'm going to do is place my cursor over the green thumbtack until I see a little green thumbtack underneath the cursor. I'm going to hold on my left mouse. And I'm going to drag this thumbtack to where I want the video to actually center. Now I want this to stay centered on the presentation all the way up to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe at the end of the clip. So I'm going to click on the end button on my keyboard and it'll send my playhead to the end. And I'm going to add another anchor point here. And I'm going to once again, drag my thumbtack to the center of this presentation, which is where I want the video to be centered. Now I got to make sure that everything is centered at each keyframe. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the back keyframe button and you can see that the clip moved at this position and you can see it also moved here and also at the beginning. So what I need to do at this first keyframe is I need to go ahead and drag this right back into position until I see the pink lines at the top and on the left hand side. So that's good to go there. If I go to the next keyframe, it's still good there. If I go to the next keyframe, it's not. The thumbtack is centered, but the video is off to the side. So here, I need to go ahead and change the scale so that I get rid of all of this black. So I'm gonna scroll up to the scale setting and before I do that, let's go ahead and go back to the previous keyframe. Now I'll go ahead and go to the scale setting and I want to go ahead and click on a scale keyframe and add a keyframe here. And the scale here should be normal. It should still be at hundred percent. So let's scroll up here to see what we got. Yep. We're at one for the scale here. So I'm going to go to the next anchor point by clicking on next keyframe. And here I'm going to go and I'm going to add a scale keyframe. 
and I'm going to go ahead and change the scale until it fills out the screen and there's no black. Now I want the movement between these two scale keyframes to be smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the back keyframe button. And I'm going to add the ease out here. I'm going to move to the next keyframe for scale. And I'm going to do an ease in here. So it'll ease out of this keyframe and into this one. So when it scales up, it'll look sexy and smooth. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And we'll go ahead and click on play to see what this looks like. And now you got anchors all up in your video. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.